guys, so I created this lilac smoky brownish eye look and I really love the way it turned out. Now I know my voice sounds a little um, rusty, but that's because I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little sick and oh my god, this is not good. Um, <clears throat> hopefully I will get back to my normal voice, but for now it's gonna... You guys are just going to have to tolerate this voice. I know. Uh, my throat kind of hurts, so whatever. The show must go on, right? So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. If you want to know how I achieved this, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before I go, of course, I do want to mention that I am officially uploading every single Friday. So, yes, I am uploading every Friday, so expect a new video every Friday. Um, yeah, so don't forget to push that subscribe button right up there. Yeah, right there. You guys know already, subscribe, 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 and don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you really liked it, if, you know, if you tried it or you're planning to try it. Uh, just give it a thumbs up, and uh, yeah. Also, follow me on all of my social <laughs> don't forget to follow me on all of my social media um, they will be down in the description down below all the links will be down there all the products that I use for this look will be down there so don't forget to look down in the info box um, that is all I have to say guys I, I have a nude pinkish lip with this beautiful lilac purplish color I love it great for spring so yeah just keep on watching Bye guys! Going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, I'm applying this all over the lid with a very small brush and then going in with my fingers to kind of warm it up and blend it all out just like so. Blend, blend, blend away so that our color comes out a lot more true and so I'm taking my favorite palette um, I'm applying this very beautiful lilac color it's great for spring and it's absolutely a gorgeous color so soft and gentle and I'm going in on the other side and as you can tell that's why we added our jumbo eye pencil and milk just so that the color comes out true and vibrant Taking my Jenny DeVetta palette, what's up? <laughs> I'm going in with a really soft brown. I typically use this on my brow bone and on my crease just as a transitional color. Um, but this is all we're going to add for this look. And yeah, keeping it soft and great and very wearable for daytime. Now going in with a highlight, we're just taking this skin tone highlight and applying that on our Bravo. Now we cannot forget about our eyebrows, so I'm taking my e.l.f. eyebrow kit and I'm using this angle brush and as you can see I have like nothing left. And I'm going in and just kind of filling in my sparse areas and also redefining my brow because we all need to have really good eyebrows so that our whole look comes together. And of course we want to do this on the other side, girl, because you do not want to have uneven eyebrows, you know. So just filling in, again, sparse areas and trying to give myself a shape here. After this, I like to take my Revlon concealer and a really flat brush and I like to dip in into it and then kind of help the eyebrow kind of redefine the shape of my brow and also highlighting it. And I'm going in and I'm also blending it out with the brush, as you can tell. I love doing this step. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do and it's like a routine for me I have to do this then I go ahead and take whatever is left on the brush and apply it above the brow just to redefine that area too and I like to go in with my fingers to kind of blend everything out so that 
it doesn't look too defined, you know what I mean? Jelly bean. <laughs> so now I'm taking this brown pencil and I usually just like to apply this on the lower lash line. Well, actually on my lash line and then apply this on the outer corner. We want to give this eye look a much more smoky look and this is so daytime wearable versus a black pencil liner. I love the brown better just because it's, like I said, less harsh and it's definitely a lot more wearable. So, again, going in on the other side and I'm blending it out with the other side. It comes with a sponge applicator and I'm just blending it out that way. And now applying this on my lower lash, um, I don't don't like to go all the way in to the inner corner. Um, just because I feel like this gives me a much more wider look, a much more wider eye. And this is just how I like it. So I'm blending it out, kind of smoking the lower lash. And of course, you guys have seen this so many times. This is my go-to highlighter for my inner corners. And I just love this thing. Now, I bought this foundation, really dark foundation stick, and I'm going to use this for contouring. So, I love this whole idea of a foundation stick. I think it's genius, and I'm just putting this on the hollows of my cheek, and I absolutely love this product. It's become one of my favorites. It's a new product, and I'll list that below because I forgot what it's called. <laughs> And now going in with my stippling brush from e.l.f. I'm going in and just kind of blending it out. Making it much more less harsh. And then softening it all the, the hard edges with my powder brush. And this is also from e.l.f. Okay, this next pencil is amazing. It's a pink nude. I think that's what it's called. And I'm just going to line my lips. This is another new product that I bought along with that foundation stick. And this is just going to complete the look. I'm going to fill in my lips with this. And I would leave it matte, but I felt like it needed some jazzing it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm taking my Lancome Juicy Tube Gloss and I'm going to dab this on my lips like so. So it looks a lot more fuller and juicier. <laughs> and that is the completed look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye. Hey, when?